Well, hello there, chums. As I, Captain Stephen, today, chums, for you guys and the viewerverse, I've got a bit of a spooky addition. So I used to be a paranormal ghost hunter. Yeah, I know. Yes, I used to hunt the paranormal in real life. Yeah, yeah, that, that was a thing. I, I don't anymore. But anyway, people out there in the viewerverse, I have to warn you that some of the footage in here may scare the younger audience, so they may wish to divert their eyes. I mean, some of this is fairly laughable stuff, but then other bits, I don't know. Make your decision. I mean, parental guidance and all that sort of shenanigans. Some of this is a bit mind blowing, a bit far out there. And yeah, like they laughable as fudge. Yeah, so here we go. Yeah, you've been. One. There's also early age footage of myself here, so you're going to see a young Captain Steve. So let's bring in the real life Captain Steve. So this takes me back to 2012, which feels like freaking eons ago, and it kind of it was almost a decade. What the fudge? Yeah, time flies by pretty darn quick, doesn't it? Anyhow, yeah, I have my own paranormal investigating team. When I say team, there was like three of us and maybe a couple of additional people that wanted to come along with us. But yes, we had our own intro and everything in our own YouTube channel. I will be putting links to those in the actual video description, but it's rather embarrassing. But yeah, go take a look if you really want to. But here was our amazing fandangly intro for you. So, yeah, we had a fantastic intro. I made I made the music in Dance EJ and I put all the editing together. I think I did a splendid job back then. I'm actually impressed by my old pro ass when it came to video editing. But yes, did we find any ghosts? Well, the freaking blighters are invisible and no one really told us about that before we started going out there and hunting for the damn things. They're not like they are in Ghostbusters the movie. You, you don't befriend them like Slimer and there's no marshmallow men out there. At least we didn't come across any of that sort of shenanigans. But what we did come across was a whistling ghost. Yes. So we got called out to a shoe shop in Northampton. It used to be a shoe shop. It's now a hairdresser's. But it was on the Barrett Road, right near to the Barrett Hall snooker club there was a big shoe factory there that closed down but then they still sold shoes in the lower floor in the basement area now this whistling ghost it would do a little whistle like <whistles> no yeah it was something like that it was you know that soft kitty warm kitty little ball of fur that um you know sheldon likes in the big bang theory it was that freaking tune but this was before the big bang theory was freaking on tv so i had no idea what the tune was but it used to whistle that tune soft kitty really bizarre but then it would do like a long whistle like <whistles> for yes and then it would go <whistles> for no it was really really odd and there was nobody whistling promise but yeah i would give you a little snippet of that whistling ghost so this is when dawn the actual person that worked in the shop that was dating my brother back then yeah, not a thing anymore but yeah she was actually pretty scared when she called us up to say this this is happening this is really happening please come down with your video camera and video it because she knows that i love all this sort of stuff yeah i play with ouija boards for fun or well, used to i don't anymore but yeah dabbling with the occult is kind of over anyhow i'll play you that clip Are you going to have to eat? Um, I don't know, I might get some soup and stuff. Some soup? 
Go on. What else to see? Mm. Please let me go now. That's what we were doing yesterday, was there? It was doing it all over the shop, here. not just here, isn't it? No, so. but that was my. Do so you go down the shop then and do it? No, just yeah, let me know if it's not just. Go on. Do you want to walk around? Go. Walk around. So yeah, there was other weird shenanigans going on there. I mean, after we was leaving, I mean, I stayed there till closing and we got a fair few other clips. If you want to see the full video, you, you can see it. It's in the video description. But as we was locking up the shop, we was locking the door and there's a glass door so you can see into the shop. And as we locked the door, we were about to walk away. There was a bang, bang on the window from the inside. And it was these little electric magnetic shoe tacks. So you know the security tacks that you put on shoes? Well, it was the spiky pin end that looks like a little mushroom. And then the clip goes on the opposite side they'd hit the glass from the inside and fell on the floor nobody else in there fully alarmed and bang bang they'd hit the actual glass and fell on the floor inside the door and could see them on the floor inside the shop freaking freaky so there was stuff that was actually moving now some of the shoes I mean, the shoes on the shelves they've all got these sort of like little bar that goes underneath to hold the shoes in place in fact I'll show you a clip or further down the shop and just pay attention to the actual shoes, but you also hear the ghost whistle again. And then I'll show you some CCTV footage of the actual shoes falling off the shelves. It's very bright, the actual CCTV footage, and it's not all that clear because it's at a distance. So I'll play you those two clips back to back and then I'll be right back with you. I can stand outside. Whereabouts does she live? Kingsley. I can run her up there if you want. At one o'clock. She might be scared of me. She's probably not there. What time is it? Steve, you've got your Yeah. <coughs> huh? She's not fair to say. Let me just go in there. Yes. Cool. <laughs> she might have to go a little bit earlier. Or she can go in there. Yeah. Steve. Yeah, I heard that. That was quite a lot of for that one, wasn't it? <laughs> 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 So the CCTV footage that you saw there, it was originally in night camera type mode. It was black and white with shades of greeny type stuff on it and very grainy. I tried to clear it up as much as possible, that's why it's a bit bright. But you can kind of see the shoes falling and I just zoomed in a bit there on that footage so you could see it a bit clearer. But there was actual lips to the actual um, shells, which you could see when we were walking down the actual other end of the shop. Those shoes aren't going anywhere. To get them off, you have to lift them up and then bring them off. So it's a bit odd that they were actually just, you know, being dumped out. And there was a few shoes going at once, which is a bit odd. And there's no real high boots there to knock another one over. There were actual flat shoes, you know. You, you saw the types of shoes they were selling. Yeah, so it's, it's a bit of an odd one. A bit, a bit strange. When you was there, it's a bit different to actually seeing the footage there. It looks a bit cack there, doesn't it? So enough about the actual whistling ghost. So moving on from that sort of... Um encounter did we encounter anything else we kind of did yes we went to a church called clop hill church and it's it's apparently the church that was actually built facing the opposite direction to where churches normally face i believe churches are supposed to face north this one faced south and there was a, a string of weirdness that was linked to this church apparently people had died there and all sorts of other shenanigans and there was lots of other ghost hunts going on there and what we captured we found was very similar to something that another 
other team captured. So I'm just going to show you both clips next to each other, what we captured and then what they captured. And you can make your own decision on whether we actually captured a reptilian demonoid. Yes, reptilian demonoid. Heck yes, that's what we thought we found. While at Clop Hill Church, Craig managed to take a photograph of what appeared to have nothing in it at first. However, because it was quite a dark photo, I thought I'd add it into Photoshop and see if I could posturise or equalise it to bring anything to light that may have been missed by the eye. And when I did so, I found something a little bit strange. Something drew my attention to the corner of one of the windows. Uh, upon further investigation, I found that it had quite a dynamic looking face to it. Here the image is, um, a lot lighter, it's sort of equalised, I've added the gamma and I've brought it into uh, Sony Vegas and increased the gamma in gain and then I've zoomed in and as you can see here there's quite clearly two eyes towards the top and what appears to be a grinning mouth full of teeth, um, almost reptilian looking, like a small dragon and it sits within inside the actual window of Clop Hill Church. Upon YouTube there are other videos of Clop Hill Church and somebody has managed to capture what appears to be the same looking creature in the centre of the Clop Hill Church walkway. If you look at the comments So there we have it, chums. I did have many other sorts of encounters when I was doing the paranormal ghost hunts. We had all sorts of weird things going on with um, Ouija boards and events happening there. We had like um, EVP recording stuff that were, fa were recorded on electromagnetic tape. So sometimes when we'd done a Ouija board, we'd have an electromagnetic tape running. And sometimes we wouldn't get an answer on the Ouija board. We'd play back the tape and there'd be voices on there that we couldn't really explain that weren't part of the group, which actually answered the question sometimes which was a little bit disturbing so do i believe in the paranormal i believe there's something out there whether it's disembodied humans or whatever i don't know i just feel that there's things outside of our spectrum of vision that we can't see into dimensional beings perhaps who knows i mean cats and dogs they act rather oddly at times don't they but anyway i'll leave you with that eerie thought people until next time goodbye goodbye and goodbye again happy halloween well, thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see, please hit a like and a subscribe. And I'd like to say a massive great big thank you to all of my backers over on Patreon and over on YouTube membership. Thanking you, backers. And if you want to support this channel, just don't skip the adverts. That throws revenue down my avenue. Or yeah, just stay with Captain Steve that little bit longer and hit something on this screen. There's merch here now too.